And we will go straight on to the junior men. We're just getting getting ready to start this, to take the start. Oh. Yeah, we have the junior, junior men. men. Junior men. The junior men, the first hit of the junior men. We have the the athlete from Czech Republic, Lucas Pribek, and from Chile we have Sebastian Lilo. So they both raised 18.3 seconds this morning. We'll see if they will be improving this time tonight. We go ahead and, and predict where the, where the winner is going to be. What, uh, what's sure. the time? Sure, sure. So they raised 17.5 and 17.6, uh, both Colombians this morning. Um, Italy was pretty close with 17.7 uh, with Andrea Cremaschi. Um, I think they will lower this times uh, maybe 0 0.1, 0 0.2 from what they skated and they just have to perform the best way possible. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to stick with the 17.6. I, I, I don't think they are going to be able to beat their times um, from this morning. I think it's pretty, it's pretty possible. We've seen at least 0.2 on the ladies. I think the men can also do this. Let's see what happens. Okay, now we have the second heat. Roger Clement from France and Alejandro Daniel Chacon from Venezuela. They are taking place right now. Here they go. You can definitely see the power and the difference in their skating. You see Venezuela a little bit more with the longer strides, a powerful push, and you see France just having a lot more frequency in their skating. Oh, that was close. That was very close. I couldn't see. That was close. I couldn't see who won this race. It's just such a short race that on the blink of an eye, that's where number one and two differentiate. I think he, I think he, he was missing one more stroke. I think he, he launched two, early. One, one stroke too early. Very, very close. So France just got 18.1 and Venezuela 18.17. We have getting prepared Guilherme Aveo from Brazil and Ricardo Vintimilla from Ecuador. Very happy to see Brazil here. Brazil yeah. is not really known for being a, a country with lots of skaters. We've, we've been seeing some Er Morales and some others coming to world championships. Um, but now being on a final, I think it speaks highly of, of the country that there's something they're doing right. It's always good to see new countries coming. For sure, for sure. We'll be expecting this time soon. Who's on the leaderboard right now, Maita, please? We have friends in the first place for now, Roger Clement, and then Alejandro Chacon from Venezuela. In the third. First 17 of the night. So Ecuador moves to the top spot right now with Ricardo Vintimilla, who improves his, his time from this morning another two tenths. He should be interested um, Italia versus um, Germany. This, uh, this, this should be really interesting. We have Ricardo Seola from Italy and Tamino Home from Germany racing right now and off they go Ooh. Oh. that definitely happens in the race I think the track it's a little bit slippery in this afternoon maybe because of the weather maybe because of the um, 
Well, it's been, it's been, sun? yeah, it's been receiving sun all day long. It's been, a, it's been a, a, a pretty sunny day today. So, yeah, you, you can imagine the track is a little hot. For sure. Like an hour ago, the sun was still hitting the track. So, it's, I think it's still pretty hot. So, the skaters just need to be very confident of what they're wearing. And here we're getting just one time Ricardo Ciola from Italy. Oh, and here comes. From Germany, Tamino. So for the moment, we have first Ecuador with 17.95 and second Italy with 17.97. Let's see what's going on with Andrea, Crema, Andrea Cremaschi from Italy and Faberson Bonilla from Guatemala. This Guatemala one is the again. fifth hit. So we are just missing. Uh, the Colombian hit. Guatemala again here now with the junior guys against Italy. Very nice corner. And here comes Guatemala. Oof. I think that was Guatem Guatemala first. Let's see what the results are. I got lost. I just, I, I didn't. They're both in blue, so yes. yeah, they're both in blue. it was difficult I'm probably to tell. wrong, yeah. Hard do to you tell. Know, do you know what happened with Tamino's home uh, from Germany time? They didn't tell us what time he did. Uh, it, it came up in 18. Yeah, yeah 18 it came up later on. Seventeen point seven. Ooh. Oh, a tenth, a tenth apart. I think Guatemala might not get a medal this time. I think it will be Italy on thir number three, and let's see how the Colombians run. So Salomon Carballo from Colombia, he has a three hundred and one number, and John Edward Tascon, he's with a number. 302. Both from Colombia. Very, very fast. fast start for both of them. Salomon is the current world champion in this race, so he's the favorite, but uh, John Tascon is having a great race tonight, so we'll see how these. Very close. We really can't see who goes through the line first, uh, but I think they'll both have. Here is the gold and silver medal. What's your time, Diego? Um, I say 17.6. Um, that's, that's the time that 17, I said. 17.4. One of them will have a 17.4. Let's wait for the times. Wow. <laughs> John, John Edward. Edward. He's there. John Edward is the new gold medalist in the 200 meter time trial. Beating his teammate Salomon Carballo with 17.4. Uh, so that is actually Diego three tenths of a second faster than this morning. What can you say about this? Oh, well, I can say that I was wrong, <laughs> <laughs> and 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 that was amazing. It was, um, I believe, um, with the times of the seniors, as if as they stand right now, these two would be second and third. I think just the, the Italian um, skater was faster than these two. Yeah, so this morning on the senior level, Ducho Marsili won with a 17.337, and John Tascon time was? We have Ducho Marsili from oh, Italy, oh, and we had uh, Ricardo Verdugo from Chile, 17.4. Same time as the senior men, so 